looking back in my health, especially with a chronic condition, my health has drastically changed um, once I kind of joined the online community and once the web and online kind of became a resource. And not only was it drastically changed with um, actual medical information and my relationship with my doctor, but more importantly, the emotional support of knowing other people with the same illness as I do. So being an E patient helped my body, but it helped my soul. When you look at the healthcare system, and you look at the doctors and, and the people that provide health care for you, everybody's busy, everybody's underpaid and overstressed, just like most of us are in our jobs. So I think it's incumbent on the patient to be their own advocate and to take care of themselves. For most of us, um, getting, becoming aware of the convoluted nature of medical care and how it can be frustrating it comes at, at the expense of having a bad personal experience. And that's what happened to me. My father went in the hospital suddenly for a neck surgery and uh, died six months later of an infection he got in the hospital. So obviously, you know, thank God I live in the age of Google and the internet and, um, and learned afterward what had happened. And anybody that this happens to, I think, feels compelled to pay it forward a little bit and, and help other people. My journey from diagnosis to, from patient to advocate now um, has been a short, a short one, but has been a great one in regards to my health. Um, I went from having no hope, no answers, to having this whole community of patients, doctors, pharma, all in this on the same page, trying to connect each other to find out where the kinks are and what we can smooth over and make better. And I feel like overall it has just helped my health um, more than 100%. I think that my biggest takeaway was really that there are so many resources out there, but that patients really have to take it upon themselves to find them. I like some of the things that um, Dave talked about in terms of it's a patient platform and the patient isn't just the patient themselves, and people really have to be able to be willing um, and able to reach out to their circles and their circles around that to get all the help and find all the information they can, and not to be afraid to ask questions and um, really fight for themselves and be their own advocates. I think the links to organizations that are doing other things, because I think the, the hope for this movement, as with any movement, is for us to find each other, um, to, to not you know reinvent the wheel in any particular area. So if there's this website that's already doing that, and this website's already doing that, and this community is strong here, my hope is we can aggregate all of our talents and capacities and create sort of a go-to place so that anybody can go to land there and find what they need. I was really impressed with everyone in the audience, as, as well as Dave, um, who I'm secretly in love with. <laughs> um, I really think that one takeaway was that we were all equally um, respected. And there was pharma in the audience, there was some medical people, doctor, nurse people, um, and there were patients. And being a patient and also being an advocate, which sometimes are two different things or the same thing, um, everyone's opinion was respected. And we all realized that we're all big pieces of this puzzle. And it's only going to get better if we work together. As a patient, Sometimes I don't attend conferences because I feel like, will my voice be heard or, or will I just be ignored? And sometimes I feel like, um, am I important enough? Is my experience um, important enough? Um, but coming here, I realized that everyone's experience is important enough if it's part of this greater puzzle of helping patients. One thing that's made an impression on me from e-patient boot camp today is the fact that learning never stops and that there are so many different avenues of learning and we can learn from so many different people, from patients, from pharma, from our doctors and to never underestimate blocking because <laughs> it can take you places.